child. Rob the Black here with a review for you. So as you guys know, um, Hicks and Gracie uh, finally published his book. You know, so let me tell you guys how what I thought about it. You know, I've been doing jujitsu for I don't want to say how many years. I'm still behind, but nevertheless, you know, um, my take on this book was or is it's actually a very good read. Um, shout out to Jocko Willink for doing the uh, the prologue. He did an excellent job doing the prologue. Um, Jocko's been training for a long time, you know, and he's known Rick <laughs> Rickson. <laughs> he's known Hickson for a long time, you know. So he actually stepped into the prologue for him. Um, the book itself. So from my vantage or my viewpoint. If you came up in the early 2000s doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you already know who Hicks and Gracie is, and you already have a basic understanding or knowledge of the Gracie family. And of course, in any of your uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu studios, if you look at the instructor's bio and you see the uh, bloodline that the team bloodline where he originates from, a lot of times you'll see the whole Maeda story and how it's like Count Maeda, you know, brought jiu-jitsu over to Brazil and then the connection with Helio Gracie and, you know, and so forth. So everybody has that basic understanding, that basic rundown. Uh, the book fills in the, fills in the gaps. So all of us who knew that basic story and let's say have trained at a few Gracie schools and have heard about Hickson. Like I've trained under Henzo. Well, I'm sorry, under Ricardo. And I've met Henzo. I've met Hoyler. You know, I'm not friends with them, but I mean, I've met them. This is back in the day. It kind of puts everything into perspective on who's who. So when Hickson really goes into the book, he talks about where who the lineage so how he has or where his brothers come from which that was something that we didn't know before you know if you guys were close to the family of course you know but the other ones the rest of us on the outside didn't so you learn about the original lineage and how the family was combat based you know and who was the original champion of the family and how Hickson became the quote-unquote champion of the, of the family. Um, which was very interesting. A very, very interesting aspect. You know, on that uh, that lifestyle. Um, another thing, you know, and my heart goes out to the Gracie family. But to uh, they talk about Hoxon. You know, and that was that was Hickson's number one at that time. I mean, that was his only boy at the time, you know, and that was his number one. Some of you guys seen that documentary uh, called Choke with Hickson. You see Hoxson in there, you know, and, you know, the tragic events that unfolded behind, you know, Hoxson and, you know, his passing. So he goes into a little bit of depth about that. You know, I'm not going to be a spoiler, but we've all had a certain understanding of how it happened. But he does tell how it happened and what else was involved and that he knew the pretty much the who, which we never knew. And he talks about why he got out of fighting. You know, so all in all, the book is a very, very good book. I did the audio book, so it was a very good read slash listen. Um, I do recommend it, especially if you're a practitioner of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I believe that you should, you know, read this book, especially if you if you're part of the uh, the Gracie uh, the Gracie lineage. It's definitely it behooves you to know that. Because when you're under the Gracie tutelage, like it's a very tight knit group. They're very, I'm not going to say cultish, but it is, you know. But then again, a lot of gyms are, you know. But but just practicing, it's very, it's it's a very interesting and very good read. Just learning about the family and 
how it originated and it revolves around self-defense. So if you see Hickson nowadays, all he talks about is self-defense, self-defense. The tournament shouldn't be about points. It should be about submission, not about time. He doesn't agree with the modern day Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but he knows it evolved, you know, as you've seen from the UFC to modern day. You know, everybody's learning Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in some flavor of it, but it's the origin is still crazy. So the book was a very good read. If it's a five stars, I'll give it. I'm, it's hard to give something five stars all the time, you know, so I'll say four and a half stars. It's a very short read, which makes it very good. So it doesn't drag on. Um, it's very informational. So I do recommend that you guys check this book out. Um, I got it on Audible. So you can go on Amazon and download it or go on Amazon and cross over to Audible and get the uh, the book. But it does. Uh, I totally recommend you reading and checking out this this writ. But until the next time, I'll do another book review for you guys. I have another one coming up and have a good day and peace.